Hello company 008 and hello YouTube, this is Ötzi and well, I've been asked to make a tutorial for X264 VFW codec. So it's basically, um, it makes the file size a much more um, compact to say. Um, if you use, for example, DxStory, the DxStory video codec, even with the lowest uh, lowest quality over here, which uh, I used before, uh, the file sizes were quite massive. As you can see here, one hour took like 120 gigabytes. Or oh, let's take something a little s shorter. Around 20 minutes, it took 40 gigabytes, so that that became an issue for most of the people, including me, even if uh, I had 2 terabyte hard drive. So, uh, let's try to find a file around 20 minutes gameplay. Oh well, here's a good example, 45 minutes, only less than 40 gigabytes with the new codec. 20 minutes, 14 gig. And that's raw footage. It's not edited, it's just raw. Raw rounds which you can edit. Because the problem most of with the most of the X264 codex is... Uh, for example, Sony Vegas doesn't play too well with them. You, uh, usually you just can't edit or render them, because Sony just refuses to open them. Not with this codec. Another good thing with this new codec, you get less frame drops while recording if you use this codec and if it's set it up properly. So here are the files, as you can see. X264VFW and 64-bit version of it. Okay. Um, the files are located here. Here's the link. I'll put uh, this link in the description and as an annotation to the screen. So you can go, go ahead and download these two files. Okay, next thing you want to do is to install these codecs. So when you have downloaded them and saved wherever you wanted, I have, I just have them on, on my desktop. Um, just start installation it. You won't be seeing this because I have this installed already. So don't mind this. Okay, next I agree. This is important. Destination folder. C Windows Susvo 64. So computer C Windows Susvo Susvo 64. This is the place to put them. Uh, this folder is basically uh, the folder where Windows stores most of the codecs it uses. So yeah, put them there. Once you have done it, install the 64-bit one to the same place. See, Windows, Sys 64, install. Yes, I want to quit it. And after you have installed it, it should look like... Easy. That's the codec icon. 64-bit codec icon. One installation of both of them. Now you need to reboot your computer. So please do reboot. You need to do this in order to make this work now. And I'll talk to you when you come back. Welcome back. Now you should have rebooted your computer at this moment. Um, now you should be seeing these files. If you didn't see them before, now you should be seeing them. If you don't, 
you need to try reinstalling them. Okay. Yeah. Next thing is you need to set this up because X264 is a very, very compressing codec. So the compression is, as you can imagine, it's pretty huge. Um, it compresses the video files a lot, but it doesn't lose quality as much. So you won't be able to tell the difference if it's set it up right. Um, after rebooting, you go press your Windows button. I have it here. Most of you will have it here. And in the search field, type X264. Come on, my recording is messing this up. X264 for VFW. That first. And this is most important part. You need to copy these settings exactly. Um, if you don't, you will probably lose frames. Your computer will freeze while recording or start lagging. Uh, or you can't edit the footage afterwards. So this is important. I'll take a screenshot for this too and put it somewhere, probably Guatsu or something, so you can see it even if you're not watching this video. First, preset ultra fast. Tuning none profile auto level auto. Fast decode ticked. Zero latency ticked. Single pass rate factor based CRF. Rate factor 15. This is important one. Big 15. Just don't ask. Uh, next one. Output mode. VFW. And this is the most important one. For VFW 4CC. Um, X264 comes with multiple different, different decode and encode uh, settings. As you can see, there's 8264 with capital and not capital, XS with capital and not capital, pick X non capital 264. Then tick virtual do pack. Uh, these should be the same. Just keep it um, change it if they are not. Sar with one, sar hate one, log level warning, blah blah blah. And this one. Um, most of the guides in the internet says key in fifteen. Okay, it works, but basically it does that. Um, I'm guessing it takes a keyframe every 15 frames or something so rendering and playback for the files become, becomes almost useless so what you need to type here is hyphen hyphen key int space one then hit ok then you need to do it another time X264 for the 64 bit version. These are two different codecs, so you have to do them twice. Okay. Um, this is the 64 bit version, but exactly the same settings ultra fast, non profile auto level auto, fast decode, yes, zero latency, yes, a single pass rate factor based CRF. Rate factor 15. Output mode VFW VFW 4CC X without the capital X 264 virtual do pack. This here keep the same and hyphen hyphen key int space one. 
then it's okay. That should be it for that. Then last thing we need to do is um, check that it's uh, set it up in DX story properly. In um, the DX story in the movie tab where you see the codex, you should see now this x264 bit vfwf blah blah blah. Pick it. Keyframe rate 15 blah blah. blah. Then so config configuration dialog box of the codec. This is the, exactly the same window as the two windows before. I need you to check this window and make it match the previous ones. Just check it. Okay. And once you have checked it, then just just basic things for the DX story. Pick your frame rate. I like to record Battlefield in 60 because of that cool slow mo. Um, well, I'm not going to go through the DX story settings right now. You can ask if you want. I can make a guide for it too, but. That's not the purpose of this video. Um, yeah, I guess that's about it. Uh, next thing we need to do is you need to record something, try it out. You shouldn't lose so much frames and the file size should be fairly reasonable. Compared to DX story or Lagarita lossless, lossless codec or whatever people usually use. You won't see the difference in the quality. Trust me. Okay, and the last thing is the proper render settings. Um, the render settings... There's a different render settings, of course, and... The next ones are something similar that Zach Frax, for example, uses. They're not, not exactly the same. But these following render settings work best with this, this new codec. Um, thank you for my body story machine for telling me about this codec. Uh, it took some time after uh, he told me about this codec. Uh, I did some research and made some changes to the settings and now it works perfectly. So you won't get any frame losses and you can actually edit the files and they play back just fine. Um, of course, always in Vegas, before you do anything, switches, disable, resample. This is important. Any clip, any video, any intro, anything you add here, disable, resample. You will get better quality and smaller file size. Okay, render settings. Render as Windows Media Video version 11 VMV. That's the one to go. It doesn't render as AVI. There's no reason to render it with AVI. Even YouTube likes Windows Media Video or QuickTime videos more than AVIs. And you will get better quality. Um, if you render 720p feed videos, pick this as I do. 6 MPS HD 720p 30p video. Customize template. Audio, the default, CBR, Windows Media Audio, blah blah blah. Video, this is important one. Mode, quality VBR. Format, Windows Media Video 9. Image size for 720p videos, high definition. Uh, 1280 times 720. Pixel aspect ratio 1. Frame rate 30. Seconds per keyframe 5. Basically the basics. Only thing you need to change is mode. To quality VBR. And quality. Pick 83. That's the way to go. 86 with sack frags. Uses. Uh, it makes the files much bigger, but there's not too, too big of a difference in the actual quality. So you will uh, save yourself time 
uh, when rendering and when uploading. So pick 83, try it out. After you have these settings working just fine, you can play around with these as much as you want. Bitrate, default, index summary, default, project. Video rendering quality, best. Makes the quality a little bit better, doesn't affect the file size too much. Then just, okay. Uh, one more thing, once you have uh, uh, changed these settings, you can rename the template. For example, let's see, uh, proofs. Like this. Save template. Yes, 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 yes. So, now, every time you want to render, the settings are ready there for you. You can uh, name it uh, any way you want. But, um, I have it here. Then just name the file, render, wait a while, take, uh, take a cup of coffee and enjoy your new video. And that's about it. Uh, thank you for watching. Let me know if you found this quite uh, useful. Uh, leave a comment, a like maybe, check my own channel. Uh, if you have any problems setting this up or have any questions, go ahead, leave a comment, I'll answer them. And um, let me know if there's another tutorial you would like me to make. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.